What's going on guys, Finesse Breezy here coming at you with an unboxing for something that I would have loved to unbox you know, quite a while ago and I'll get into the reasons why I wasn't able to but finally I am able to and that is going to be for Soul Eater Not. So I'm going to start this video off with a little bit of a rant slash story time uh, and if you don't really want to watch that and you're here just for the unboxing, uh, I'll put a little timestamp somewhere on the screen that you can click and just go right to the unboxing if you don't want to hear me talk about this. Uh, but if you do want to hear me talk about it, uh, then wait till right now. So I had originally pre-ordered uh, Soul Eater Not back in April when I first saw it hit Amazon and I was like, I know I'm going to buy it so I might as well pre-order it now. So this way, you know, the way Amazon works is if at any point between when you pre-order it to when it ships, if it drops the price, it will charge you the lowest price. So you know, you may pay $40 on the reserve the day you reserve it, but if it drops to like 30 and then goes back up to 40, they're going to charge you 30 because that was the lowest price you could have ordered it on. So I figured why not, let's just order it early. And when I looked on Amazon, there was only one listing for Soul Eater Not, and it was for the picture of the limited edition box set, you know, the thing that anybody would, wanna, would want. And so I, I figured, all right, let me get that out of the way. And so the initial release date, which I'm sure a few of you, if you had pre-ordered uh, Soul Eater Not, would know, was, I think it was July, uh, June 26th. So it was a month ago at this point. And I was like, all right, so June 26th is coming up. Where is it? And I got an email on June 26th that the release date had been changed. And, you know, we're so sorry, but your release date's been changed. And it was changed till July. And I was like, how did something get postponed a month like that? And so I, I looked a little bit online, I, I, I was checking around, and people on eBay were selling it, and I was like, this doesn't make sense, and then I, you know, pretty much put two and two together and realized that, for whatever reason, anybody who ordered it on Amazon got pushed back, and if you ordered it on Right Stuff, most likely, uh, you, you got it. And that's what I've come to learn, is that if you pre-order something on Right Stuff, you know, if they have it in stock, they're going to send it to you, whether or not the release date has changed or what, but the only benefit to ordering it on Amazon as opposed to right stuff is that you have the opportunity to get it for cheaper. So okay that's all fine good Danny whatever now. Uh, so when this was supposed to be released on the 21st I was supposed to, supposed to receive this on the 21st uh, you know it shipped on the, the 20th or whatever day it was the day before two days before that it comes out and I noticed that the picture was different. It was for the standard edition um, so later not not the limited edition boxes so just your normal blu-ray dvd combo pack you know in the, the normal blu-ray case with a slip cover and i was like that's weird because i know for a fact i pre-ordered the limited edition box why would i not want that let's see what happens when i get it so sure enough comes in the mail it's the normal edition and i was quite annoyed because now at this point i have to contact amazon because I, I looked and they actually did upload a second listing for it so there were two and originally there wasn't one, and they changed the pictures around, um, and the price difference was $3. So the one I had was $37, and the limited edition was 40 It's like, why would you not spend the $3 more? I mean, who in their right mind would do that? I guess if you're really on a tight budget or you personally don't like these boxes, then that makes sense. But for me, it, uh, there's no way. So I contacted Amazon, and this is the one thing that, uh, the reason why I'm giving you this whole rant, because uh, normally I really don't complain about things like this, because a few things have happened in the past, but I wanted to tell you this story for the main purpose of if anything happens like this to you, go ahead and contact Amazon. I mean, talking to them through, through, through chat was flawless. I mean, they were so willing to do whatever it is that they could to help you. Uh, so they, I refund, they, they refunded me for the original purchase, they, they did it all for me, too. Like, they, they sent me an email with the return shipping label. Um, and then I purchased the, the limited edition box set, and they gave me a credit for the price difference. So I wound up actually paying $37 for this one instead of the, the standard edition because I told them the whole situation, and, and you know, they believe me because I guess what's the point in, in lying and going through all of that just to get a, a DVD, uh, essentially. Um, but it was an extremely um, nice process that the people who I spoke with were very helpful. And that's the purpose of me telling you this story. That if something has happened like this to you and you think, oh, I don't want to go through the trouble of talking to Amazon or go through the trouble of, of shipping it out, I'll just keep what I have and be unsatisfied, don't do that. Take the few minutes to do it. You'll, you'll really you'll enjoy the fact that they are willing to help you and you'll be a lot happier in the end. So, welcome back to anybody who skipped my rant. Uh, if you stayed through the whole thing, thank you very much. Let's jump right into unboxing Soul Eater Knot Limited Edition. Alright, so let's take a look at Soul Eater Knot. And I did have this 
wrapped, but I figured to save a little bit of time to unwrap it. So there's your side and your back. It's a little winky face with these cool little stars. And so this box is very pink. Um, <laughs> it is going to stand out quite a lot when it's on the shelf next to other shows. So let's take a look at the back. Friendship is the best weapon. I'm not going to read all this, but your extras are uh, commentaries, Soul Leader Whoops, not sure what that really is. Um, <laughs> you have a collection of commercials, Texas songs, U.S. trailer, and other Funimation trailers. So what is included? You have 12 episodes on two DVDs and two Blu-rays with 15 minutes extras, and the series itself is 300 minutes. Uh, that is both regions A and B, and you get both English and Japanese languages. There you go. Okay, so inside the box you have your two standard Blu-ray cases. One for DVDs and one for Blu-rays. Okay, so let's take a look at this one first. And these DVDs, I'm assuming, because they're pink? Yes, DVDs. Episodes 1 through 17 and extras, and episodes 8 through 12 and extras. And there's your back. Get some happy looking Meisters. Um, these are the seem the same girls that are on the front. And there's your front artwork. And so these are the Blu-rays. Let's see. Yes, one through twelve and extras on Blu-ray. And the discs are blue. I'd have never guessed. All right, so that should do it for Soul Leader Knot. Um, you know, this is a relatively short series; it's only 300 minutes, so it shouldn't take me too long to watch. So, if you want to hear my opinions on it and my thoughts, uh, stay tuned to most likely what will be the next. Uh, what have I been watching? This will be included in it. Uh, but other than that, thanks for checking it out. So, I want to thank you all very, very much for watching, especially if you watched through my entire little mini rant that. Uh, I felt it was needed to do. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let's me know that you guys enjoy what I do and that you want to see more unboxings and other anime related videos. If this is the first video you've watched on my channel and because you wanted to watch an unboxing of Soul Leader Not Limited Edition and you want to see more, then please subscribe to my channel. As always, my name is Finesi Breezy and I will see you all next time.